Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve code forces problem polycarp training. Before we look into the problem details, I want to mention that my channel is dedicated to help people who are preparing for uh, Java J2 interviews as well as coding interviews. You will find lot of helpful videos on my channel uh, for your Java J2 interviews and coding interviews. There are over 200 solved different varieties of coding questions which were previously asked by big tech companies like Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Google, Ma uh, Yahoo, Microsoft and many others. So uh, those questions you will find out like solved and explained uh, with examples. There are playlists called as code forces as well as lead code and lean code solutions that has lots of solved coding questions that can help you in your Java J2 interview preparation and your coding interview preparation. So if you are preparing for uh, any interviews like Java interviews or coding interviews or telephonic Java interviews, uh, this channel can definitely be helpful. So please subscribe to the channel. So let's look into the Polycarp training problem details. Uh, so Polycarp wants to train before another programming competition. During the first day of his training, he should solve exactly one problem. During second day, exactly two problems. During the third day, exactly three problems. So on whatever day he is, he should solve that many problems basically. During the kth day, he should solve k problems. Polycarp has list of n contest. The ith contest consists of AI problems. During each day, Polycarp has to choose exactly one of the contest he didn't solve yet and solve it. He solves exactly k problems for this contest. Other problems are discarded from it. If there are no contests considering consisting of at least k uh, problems, in that case Polycarp didn't solve uh, yet on the kth day then polycarp stops his training right so for example polycarp is on the fourth day let's say right and he does not have any uh, any contest which has at least four questions right it he should have a contest available with which has at least four questions then he can continue his training otherwise he cannot continue his training basically right that's what it means how many days polycarp can train if he chooses the contest optimally so uh, let's look into the input format they have given us so first line contains number of contests for example as you can see in this example four contests right and the second line contains uh, number of problems in the ith contest so there are four uh, contests and these are the number of problems in the each contest right so first contest will have three problems second contest has one problem third contest have four problems and fourth contest have one problem so we have to find out maximum number of days polycarp can train if he chooses the contest optimally right so let's look into this problem on the whiteboard here so this is the same problem right so um, so uh, as you can see um, if like let's say we have days right so days are there so so polycarp is has like let's say he is on one two three four are the days right so he will start solving the competition on day one right so he can choose either this one or this one right at least one competition he one contest uh, with one at least one question he should choose so let's say he is choosing this right so he has this so uh, now so day one he has he can continue training because he found a contest now when he is on day two he can choose a contest which has at least two questions right or more questions so at least two or more means he can choose three right this contest which has three questions so he can continue training on day two basically right now when he is on day three he can he has to choose a contest which has at least three or more questions so now there is a contest this one which has four questions right so he can choose this contest which has three or more questions so he can continue training on the third day now when he reaches the day four he should choose a contest which has at least four or more questions now only one contest is left and it has only one question right so he cannot continue on the fourth day so which means that he can continue his training only on this on this one two and three day basically right so uh, we have to answer 3 right so that's why you can see the output is 3 right so uh, means he can continue his training for the 
one two and three days basically right so this is one example now they have given us another example which has a five contest and again we will just write down days right so let's say we have a days right days and days are one two three four like this right so we have to find out how many days he can continue his training right so on day one he can choose any contest with which has um, which has at least one question right so he can let's say choose this contest let's say it has one question right so he can continue his training on day one now when he is on day two he need to choose a contest which has at least two questions so let's say he is choosing this contest right this two contest so now he can continue his training on day two now when he reaches on day three he need to choose a contest which has at least three questions now the contest that we have left no contest has three days right this is one one this is two right so no contest has three days so it means that he can continue his training only for two days basically right because the remaining contest does not have at least three questions basically so that's why let's look into this this is the example we are looking at so as you can see the output is two here right and we also found out two days here so basically this is a kind of a greedy problem so he has to whenever uh, whatever day he is on right he has to choose a contest uh, which is uh, like which has at least that many questions right so uh, we will greedily choose a contest which is minimum basically right minimum means which will minimum in the sense let's say for example if he is on day 3 right and he has a choice of 3 and 4 questions right one contest has three questions another contest has four questions so we will greedily choose a contest which has um, greater than or equal to three basically but but least amount right least amount we will choose basically so we will choose three basically not four in this case right because four we wanted to keep for the fourth day right in that case for example right this is just an example i am saying uh, so what I mean to say is if we have let's say contest with uh, 1, 2 and 3 right our contest let's say have 1, 2, 3, 4 questions right 1, 2, 3, 4 questions so when he uh, when he is on a day like this is a day right let's say right day so day 1, day 2, day 3 and day 4 right let's say so whenever he is on day 1 he he can choose four also here right four also has more than one question but he should choose the least amount of question uh, contest like uh, he should choose a contest which has a least amount of questions that will satisfy the criteria right so he should choose one right because one is uh, greater than or equal to one right for second day he should choose not three or four basically right on third day he should choose three not four basically right and for four he should choose four right and why we are doing it so that we can continue the training for maximum amount of days right because we have to do the maximum amount of days as you can see right maximum so this is a kind of a greedy problem so um, uh, this is the approach so for this one we will use priority queue right priority queue uh, max heap we will use because we want to always uh, uh, we will use the min heap in the case right because we wanted to get the minimum number of uh, days which we uh, con uh, questions which can satisfy our day basically right so let's look into the con like uh, java details for the solution so we are given the n is equal to 4 and we are given the uh, you know the questions these are the questions right on uh, each contest basically right questions on each contest so we will create a priority queue pq which is of integer and we will first add all the all of them right so priority queue will hold 1 2 1 1 3 4 right because priority queue is this is a min heap so minimum will be on the top basically right uh, and after that we will just start with a day one right and then while priority queue has some elements we will pull the element from the priority queue here right and we will check questions can solve right so if our day is greater than the questions that we can solve basically right so for example if we are on a day one then we will get question can solve is one right because first will come uh, from the priority queue 
so one is not greater than one so it will go to the next one it it means that we are continuing our training basically to the next day right you see what i mean right so first uh, whenever day increases it means that we are continuing basically our training for the next day because day will go to next uh, which is two right after one the day will go to two again whenever when we are trying to pull uh, it will pull one again right from priority queue because there are two ones as you can see right so here um, day is two which is greater than one right questions can solve is one so we will just continue in that case we are not counting that as a different day basically right because we we i don't want to consider that one as the contest in this case right because we are on the day two and we are getting a contest which has one question so we cannot solve that basically so we are skipping it basically right and then we will go to uh, day three and day four so now in the day three we will get three right so three is greater than two so day will be two so two um, will be greater than 3 right uh, uh, so day is uh, 2 and questions we can solve is 3 so we will uh, 2 is not greater than 3 so we will increment the day basically right um, so let me just uh, actually go to whiteboard so I can explain you what how the priority queue will work in this case so I am just going to uh, you know like remove this coloring so we can uh, reuse this whiteboard again so we are looking into this question right so we have so whenever we are on a day one right so our day day variable will be one right day variable will be one and our priority queue will look like this basically right so one one three and four right because it is a mean heap so one will be on the top minimum will be on top so on day one we will get one out right so one out we will get so one is so let's just look at the one is not greater than one right so one is not greater than one right so in that case we will increment our day to two so our day will become two now right day will become two so again next time we will get one right from priority queue now two is greater than one right two is greater than one which is correct so we will just continue we will not increment the day in this case because we want to skip this right because we are on the second day and we are getting a contest which has less than two basically so we will skip this contest right then we we will uh, next run we will get three right so now two is is two greater than three no right two is not greater than three so we will increment our day to three right as you can see here whenever the condition is when condition is not satisfied we will increment the day right so our day will become three and after that uh, we will again go to four so four like uh, three is greater than four right three is greater than four which is also not correct like which is not um, uh, true basically so we will increment the day right in that case to four and at the at the end we have to in uh, just return four minus one as the possible days right which is equal to three so three possible days we can continue the training here right because in the first day we will do one in the second day we will take this three contest and then in the third day we will take four contest right and this is the same thing basically so we are skipping this one basically right because on the second day we cannot take this one so that is what we are doing here um, right so the logic is uh, pretty straightforward and then we will just print day minus one because why we are doing minus one because for the last day we are incrementing it by one right so we have to reduce that by one here so let's just go ahead and execute this example so we are getting three here which is correct answer as you can see uh, three is the correct answer for this question so now let's look at the let's take uh, this example so uh, we'll make sure that this also works so we are just doing five here and then one 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 two two right one 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 two two so let's just format this so one 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 two two so now we should get two as our answer so this is the second example. so we are getting correct answer two. this is the second example that we have seen this example right so um, this is a mean heap basically right mean heap mean heap right uh, because it always keeps the minimum on top as one then one then one then three then four like that 
so um, i hope you are clear with these examples so this is the way we can solve polycarp training problem on the code forces if you are new to my channel there is a playlist uh, on my channel or uh, which is dedicated to code forces problems it has a lot of solved and explained uh, code forces problems in java uh, also apart from that there is a big playlist called as lead code and lint code solutions on my channel uh, which has over 200 solved different varieties of coding problems which were previously asked by amazon apple facebook microsoft yahoo google and many other big tech companies uh, so if you are preparing for coding interviews, uh, if you look at these two playlists, that will be really uh, helpful to you because it covers lots of different varieties of coding problems that are important from coding interview perspective. If you are preparing for uh, Java telephonic interviews, there is a, a playlist called as Java interview. You can take a look there. It, uh, it discusses frequently asked telephonic Java interview questions and how to answer those questions. If you find this video helpful, if you like it and if you like the way it's how it's created with whiteboarding examples and Java code, then please like it. Please give it a like. Also uh, share this video with your friends and colleagues. Also, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Your subscription to the channel is really important for the channel because that is the way the videos can reach to more people who need help in solving coding problems. The main goal of the channel is to reach as many people as possible in, and help them in their coding problems preparation and Java interview preparation. So if you like this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. Also, if you have questions, write your questions below the description and thanks for watching this video.